Hey, what's going on, everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Ruin DLC video. Whew, that's a mouthful. In this video, I'm going to be showing y'all something that you might have not known about in Chapter 1. Somebody was actually secretly watching you during this part within Chapter 1 when you're going down this stairwell. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. If you find this enjoyable, by the way, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it. The support is greatly appreciated. As always, that's totally up to you. Just leave a reminder here in the beginning. So, yeah, in case you don't know, the blob was actually secretly watching you during this part. I'm going to be using a free camera hack just to get a closer look at this thing during this part for y'all. Let's do this. Don't want to get too close because that could ruin it and he'll just disappear. Alright, so you can see him right there. You can see part of its head. Let me go ahead and just type in this command toggle debug camera. And let's go and take a closer look. I gotta say, the debug camera is quite dark. I wish there was a way I could like light it up. Unfortunately, I don't know how. Maybe if I pause and then teleport over here. Nah, I don't know. But yeah, you can see part of its head right here before I go ahead and attempt this other way to get a better look at it. As soon as we move a little bit more down the staircase, he'll just disappear. It's kind of interesting how the developers added the blob here. Um, we don't encounter this thing anywhere else in the game that I know of so far, that is. I don't know if there is another way to encounter this, but at the moment, there is no known way to find this thing anywhere else. It's like the developers just added it in here just to let us know that, you know, it's still a part of this universe or whatever. I guess I'm going to try to teleport in here with my flashlight because that's the only way I feel like I'm going to get a better view of it. Super dark. There's the dark outline of it. I'm going to pause it, too, before I teleport in here. Maybe that'll make it so it doesn't go away. Alright, teleport in. I have no idea where I'm at. Toggle, debug, camera. Oh, I'm still paused. As soon as I unpause them, I go... Oh, okay. I just fall and die. If I teleport out of the map over there, daggone it. Wish there was a way I could make my free camera brighter. I got an idea to make this work. So... What I'll do is put it in slow motion. Probably shouldn't have done it right here, but oh well. And then I'm going to teleport. Aha. I got him in super slow mo now. There's the blob. That's a much better view of him. <laughs> well, this is one way to do it. I'm making it. Yes, there you are, blob.
There's all his tentacles. There's, I don't know, his body, I guess. This is just crazy. This thing was secretly watching us. Hopefully I can get a better view of his face eventually. I'm moving in super slow-mo. Let's see what happens if I pause it. And then toggle debug camera again. A little bit better of a view right there. Now I can see it much better than what we could earlier, my goodness. Slow-mo did the trick. Yep. That's the blob, ladies and gentlemen. Ha! <laughs> That's so crazy. As soon as you go down the stairs, it leaves so quickly. Where does it go? I don't know. It just disappears. We don't ever see it again. As far as I'm aware. And for those of you wondering why don't I just turn up my gamma and brightness, those are completely maxed out in my options. For some reason though, when I go into free camera, it just gets dark. I don't get it. But hey, this is working at least. Speed it up a little bit. I mean that fast. Oh look, this is how fast the thing just goes away. With the quickness. But yeah, I guess that's wrapping up this video. I just want to show you all this. This is something you could have easily missed when playing through. Once again, you discover this in chapter one within this stairwell. As far as I know, this is the only area where we encounter the blob, which I find pretty interesting. I don't know if the developers have plans to do something more with this, or they're just, you know, adding it into the game to let us know that it's still in the universe of Five Nights at Freddy's. But uh, yeah, I'm out of here, everyone. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.